Did you know um, Ricky was going to do so well at the games that year, Matt? Like, had you, going into it, were you like, okay, this guy, or was it as the days went along, you were like, okay, yeah, this guy's legit? No, I knew, I knew he had a motor that was just about second to none. Um, I knew he could run, run and bike like crazy um, because I competed against him in Dubai uh, like seven or eight months prior. I think, I think we competed in Dubai together in like December. And then I actually overlapped with him in Australia a couple months prior to that. And I was training with Con Porter and he was like, hey, you know, uh, this kid, Ricky, Ricky's coming in. He's Benny Garrard's little brother. Um, he was like, you know, super nice guy, just a, just a cool bro. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, how is he? Like, he was doing one of the Dubai qualifiers, I think it was. And, uh, and what was it? It was, and I asked him, like, how is he as a competitor? He was like, oh, you know, motor, that's bananas, but he can't lift, like, at all. Like, his max snatch, I think, at the time was, like, 255 or 260. What a weak punk. Right? Dude, <laughs> could you imagine? Who can and, only snatch 255? What a turd. Yeah, so, you know, I, I had spent a little bit of time with him. I really enjoyed his company. Um, you know, like, in Dubai, you know, we were always... I always tried to, like, shoot the shit with him. I really enjoyed his company. Um, but, but yeah, you didn't then know was, he was a threat until... I mean, until he wasn't the day a threat. Of the games? It, he wasn't a threat. He, was, okay. he cheated. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, well, that still makes him. A, that still makes him a threat. What not if, what really. If he would, what no, if he would have got away with it? Is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Okay, I can see that. Side I mean, I mean, I, I guess um, what I'm saying is, is, did you think, hey, this guy could be on the podium from your training at the CrossFit Games? No. Uh, from from leading up to, from my interactions with him before, it was like, no, he's a non-factor. And then by day two, I think it was, it was like, oh, wow, Ricky's doing really, really well. Um, you know, it was unfortunate. Like, I I liked the guy. Or I liked the guy. Um, you know, he, he was a fun fun guy. There's nothing to dislike about him until that happened. Right. Um, but, yeah. It's a tough thing. To, it's a tough pill to swallow when you find out someone like that. Like, if I found out anybody was shooting, I would hate them immediately because all I would think was, like, that guy took something from me. You know what I See, mean? I, I don't. Uh, I don't even look at it. I don't. I don't have any hard feelings against him cheating. Like he didn't take anything from me. Um, I think he took away from me. I hate him. I, I think. I think what what he caused. I, I think the person that suffered the most was Vellner, obviously. Um, but like e even that, it's like if he had come out and been like, "Fuck, I made a mistake." You know, I fucked up. My apologies. That would be one thing. The, the route he tried to handle it, like he, he literally told me, he was like, I know you're doping, but don't worry, I won't tell. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? Like, no. And he was like, yeah, I know it. I know you are. I know you are. And I was like, oh, fuck off. That's what, but, that, but that's what oh, anybody. That, when did he say that's that to you? At the CrossFit game? At the games? And, and, and that's no, what after, anybody. after he popped. Oh, shit. That's what Dude. anybody has to tell themselves. Because they're, yeah. they're, that's how they justify them doing it, right? They have to be like, everybody else is doing this. That's why I have to do it yeah. because I, I have to level, level out the playing field. Yeah, dude, he called – Ricky called HQ and tried to snitch on me. Like he and, tried to tell him, like, I have cement proof. And they're like, okay, tell us. And then he had nothing. Yeah, I found that out through the grapevine after the fact. So the so way he handled that it's, it's, was I heard like, a rumor. I heard a rumor. Yeah. Oh no, no. Like I, I typed they, it and I sent the, it to you. The through person told me. The person told me. They're like, "Hey, hey, you'll never guess the phone call I just got." And I'm like, "Oh, sweet. It's real nice of them." I just always thought that people who, it, you know, in the end, who have to cheat, right? They already lost, right? Because at the at the end of the day, those people have to look at themselves in the mirror and they have to go, "This is how I got there. I did it by cheating." Right at the end of the day, I just want to be able to look in a mirror and be like, whether I won or lost or didn't my, you know, got did, hit my goals. I I got I did it I did it legit. See if I, I don't I don't think that's how a lot of people see it. I, I don't see. It. I think you're I think you're right. I, and yeah, I, I guess I, what I they think, they have to deal with it. Not me. No, like I I don't even know if they if Matt's saying they don't carry that burden. They yeah, win I, I, think, I think, think some so? don't. I think maybe not off the bat. I bet I bet down the road I bet some do. Yeah. yeah. But again, what they do if they don't ever feel that, 
they justify it by saying everyone yes. else was doing it. And that's yes. how they get that's that's the only way they, they feel OK with what they did. Yeah, it's the same as seeing someone that's uber, uber rich and going, oh, they must have stole it from somebody. They like it's like nope, given it just, was given just, it to just, him. Yeah. 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 Born with silver spoon in your mouth. It's like, nope, I busted my ass for this. But it's it's their way of justifying of like, oh, the only reason I don't have those nice things is because. Like you, you didn't earn them either. You, they were given to you, right. you know, you were born into these circumstances. It's like, nope. Like, yeah, sometimes that's the case, but not always. And I know it's not for me. Like, and it's the same with my training. It's like, yeah, if you want to see my results early on in my career, they're there. Go look at them. <laughs> like <laughs> how old, how old is Ricky? Wow. Uh, I don't know. He's, he's younger, younger than you, Matt though. I think he might be, might be a couple of years younger. I also think like a 19 year old doing steroids is different than like a 35 year old because at 19, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm, I guess I'm giving justification like for it. Morally just, or physically? You're just dumb at 19. Morally. Yes, 100%. Oh, so you're morally. just dumb. 100%. Okay. And I don't mean that even, in, I mean. Oh, I, I look at the shit I did. I didn't when I was 19. Like, oh my God, I was an idiot. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Not Ricky, me. I was, I was super squared away. <laughs> is. Ricky has to sit out one more season, right? I have no idea. I, think, I don't I think know how it's working. It was 16, right? 16 was the year he cheated. No, no 17. 17. Sorry, 17, sorry. Yeah, so he has to sit uh, out 21. 